Welcome back, and just two results to talk about since we've been gone. Uh, the first was a 0-0 draw against West Ham away, uh, but considering that when we played them they were third in the table, it's not a bad result. And then a Carabao Cup quarter-final 2-0 win against Norwich, uh, and that game also allowed us to rest a lot of players, uh, meaning that they're all fresh for the next game against Arsenal. Before we get to the Arsenal game, we're going to show you the Carabao semi-final draw. So here we are in time for the quarterfinal draw. So the teams that we could draw are either Man United, Stoke or West Ham. Um, Stoke are probably the only team I want to draw out of that considering that West Ham are performing very well and Man United are top of the league at the moment. So let's have a look. First team out of the hat will be Man United. Next up, it's us. We've got Man United in the semi-final. It is a two-legged competition. Way goals don't count. Uh, I think we're going to... I think we're probably going to struggle to get through this one but saying that we did beat Liverpool in this round last year so who knows what that might hold um, but we've got a long way to go before we get to the semi-final in terms of games and the next game that we're going to show you it's going to be Arsenal away so here we are against Arsenal and uh, this is going to be a really tough match I think um, we haven't actually won a game or, or taken a point of Arsenal uh last season i mean they, they we played two games against them they won both of them looking at their team it's it's a fairly strong team they got mario lamina back uh playing against his old team um Coquelin, lemos in midfield I, i'm trying to see who isn't playing well they've got no lacazette play oh no lacazette's on the left there walcott's on the right uh obviously walcott ex southampton as well and he's having a very good season at the moment. Six goals, six assists from him. Uh, so this is going to be a really difficult game, I think. Um, we've kind of gone with the strongest team available to us. Komen is uh, up top. Dolberg is just about back from uh, injury, but isn't fit enough to start the game. Um, our, our strongest midfield three, Lozano and Cliver on the wings. And uh, we're resting Delict because he's at 91% at the moment. So... Like I said, I, I don't really expect a win here. Uh, a draw would be good for us. I am I'm going defensive for this game. And hopefully we can try and just, just get a point out of it. Maybe get them to a nil-nil like we did with West Ham. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, so they've, they've kicked off and the first attack is probably going to go to them it looks like. But we've got the ball. Storaro, yeah, falls apart. Lacazette now into Giroud. Giroud to Walcott. And Walcott, Walcott really should have scored there. Um, play a more direct game while moving forward. Yeah, I think we probably should use our direct attacking um, kind of formation. But I'm not ready to go with it just yet. Let's, uh, let's just see how this game goes for the time being and Komen just wide that's that's not a bad effort considering how far out he was and 30 minutes in we're looking okay it's nil nil happy with that at the moment and Storaru now is on the ball to Cliver back to Storaru plays it through to Komen and Komen check makes a good save The thing probably to notice about uh, Arsenal's team is that they are they have got more older players in their team than they used to have. Um, you know, people like Czech, Coughlin's now starting to get on a bit. Lacazette isn't that young. Giroud obviously is is now thirty three, I think, in this game. So they're not as youthful as they used to be. I think we're holding our own quite well at the moment. I mean, obviously. Anything can change when it's nil-nil. That's a poor ball from Arthur. And it's still, it's quite a dull game. There's, there's not been a lot of action either way. And I say that and then Arsenal get the ball. So there we go. Good from Arthur there to intercept that pass. And now Storaru dilly-dallying on the ball. But it's okay. Clive up now. Good ball to Komen. Great ball to Lozano. Lozano crosses it in. Storaro's there. It's 1 0. That's a big, big goal. Can we hold on now? 
this from Komen. It's absolutely beautiful. Goes the other way and then just plays a reverse through ball to Lozano. He then plays an easy ball in for Storaru. Great goal. Oh, Arsenal have the immediate highlight after, which normally means a goal. No time to change any tactics. Let's see how this plays out before we change anything. Kalasanach to Walcott. Walcott's got the ball, crosses it in and high Saj out, but only as far as Lacazette. And really gets the ball. It's still a highlight though. There's no... Now it's Lozano. Now it's Lozano. Oh, Lozano. <laughs> okay. Let's um. Let's continue. I don't. I don't feel the need to make any tactical changes. We're playing really, really well. We've had more shots than them. We've had the same amount of possession. We're playing very, very well at the moment. And it's our corner, Arthur, to cross it in. Hoyt's there. Oh, and Coman scores. Coman makes it two nil. Would you believe it? I went in this expecting the absolute worst. And this is a great performance at the moment. The ball just falls out for Coman. And Coman just puts his laces through it. Bottom corner. Right, now we need to make a change. Um, okay. Cliver off. Let's bring on Oxlade against his old team. Cliver gives the ball back to Arsenal. Will that be his last touch of the game? Koscielny now with it. Back to check. Mustafi now. Now it's Klasnach. Arsenal aren't playing the ball that fast at the moment. It's, it's a little bit scary at times. And now it's Korea to Bellerin. Crosses it in and Lacazette's there and it's over the bar. That's a big chance. That was a very big chance for them. 78th minute. Kasper Dolberg just to get a bit of running on the go. And let's bring in... Let's take Arthur off and Hoiberg to just to have something that's a little bit deeper. And hopefully we'll just hold the ball a little bit more now. Hoiberg crosses it to Romeo. Chamberlain. And Chamberlain scores against Soul Club. It's 3-0. This is an absolutely brilliant win. 3-0 away to Arsenal. And that's left us three points off third place at Arsenal. Great goal from Chamberlain. He really wants that permanent deal at the end of the year. And with that kind of performance, he might just get it. Here we go. Lemos and Lemos scores. It's 3-1. It's probably too late. It's a very good goal though. Lucas just taps it to Lemos and Lemos sticks that in the bottom corner. 93rd minute. Storaru with the free kick. Plays it in. Bellerin out. Storaru, Chamberlain. Back to Romeo. Chamberlain's going to have a go. It's saved by check, and that's got to be over. It's going to be 3 1. It's going to be 3 1. I've said it's going to be 3 1. Come on. Here we go. Chamberlain kicks it away. There we go. 3 1 away to Arsenal. Well, that is. That's brilliant. Very happy with the result when you way you played. So, 3 1. Nice little Christmas present. And the next game will be the Boxing Day game against Leicester. Leicester at home then. It's Boxing Day. So full of the Christmas cheer and wearing the tinsel as you would expect anybody in this position to do. Uh, and only two changes made from the last game um, against Arsenal. So we put Kasper Dolberg up front. Just simply we need him to start pushing on again after his injury. And Matthias De Ligt is back in for Gary Cahill. Expect them to pick up where they left off, and here we go. So Leicester aren't doing that well at the moment. They are 13th in the league, uh, and obviously we, we should win this. I would hope we would win this, especially considering that we just beat Arsenal 
3-1 away. So that was Dolberg with an early strike, first few seconds of the game. And uh, obviously when we come into January, we're going to have our horrible run of games again. As, as we saw at the start of the season, when we had in quick succession Man United, Tottenham, um, Chelsea, Liverpool. So we, we expect to have all those games again in January. And uh, it's going to be a tough run again for us. Ian Nacho gets tackled by Delict. It's a great tackle. Now it's Dorario on the ball. To Clivert. Good ball to Dilberg, but gets headed away. Clivert, though, back on the ball. High Sag keeps it in. Gets tackled. Delict is there. Arthur. To High Sag. On to Clivert. Clivert crosses it in. Lozano's there. And it's a save for Shemichael. Look at, we're dominating this at the moment. 12 shots against one. Four on target against one. Hopefully we can put one of these shots away. Because otherwise it's going to be a long, dull game for us. Lozano. Crosses it into Dolberg and Dolberg's there and he scores. Back from injury. Dolberg slips past the goalkeeper. And that's kind of why we, we always start him when we can. Because he's just so confident in front of goal. Last season, 18 goals for us. This season, been hampered by injury, but obviously, if he can, he's only 21. So if he can continue and and kind of pick himself back up, then then hopefully he can progress again. Oh, Man United are winning 4-0. Oh, Man Half time, one all, and we are completely in control of this match at the moment. Might consider it start working the ball into the box just because we are dominating possession and our shots are not well, we're not getting enough shots on target at the moment, so let's try and work the ball into the box. Ian Nacho ball headed away from him. This tinsel is extremely itchy. Itchy, itchy tinsel. Liverpool losing 3 0 to West Brom. I think Jurgen Klopp is going to get sacked for Christmas. Going to get the Christmas sack. And Cliver isn't looking good at the moment, so we'll take him off. And Lozano is also looking worse for wear. So we'll bring on Tavares. And let's now bring on Coman for Dolberg. And it's going to be, I, th I think it's probably just going to end 1-0. Arthur crosses it in. Chamberlain's first to it. Arthur on the ball again. Gets tackled. It's a free kick. And Ibora might get sent off here. It's taking a long time. He's sent off. It's an appalling challenge by Ibora. Gianluca Itta with the ball now. Arthur to Komen. Gets back to Arthur. Romeo's on the ball. Storaru to High Saj. Also, bad ball, but Delict picks it up. He's kind of cleared up every single loose ball in, in the other half today. Or in our half. High Saj on the ball. Arthur to Storaru to Komen. On to Veros scores. That's going to seal it. 2 0. Happy Christmas. 3-1 before, just before Christmas, 2-0 just after Christmas. It's put us fifth in the table. That's really surprising considering the start that we had this season. We are now really starting to push on. The team's playing really well together. And we're about to go into the January transfer window. And there we go, all over. 2-0 give them a good win boys well done and let's look at where we're going to come back so that's going to end that episode it's a good yeah there we go Klopp has been sacked Carlo Ancelotti apparently is a favourite for the job Antonio Conte could also get sacked apparently Claude Puel might get sacked but it says he's unemployed so I don't know what he's going to get sacked from 
Um, but let's look at where we're going to come back. So obviously we want to have some transfer excitement as well. Let's come back for... Let's come back for Man United away and Burnley at home. Uh, yeah, let's do that and then we'll come back and hopefully we'll have made some progress in the transfer window as well. I don't think there's any big signings we need to make, but I do want to try and let Dusan Tadic go. So uh, we'll see if we can get that one done before we come back. But until then, you've seen another two-win episode. This has been great for us. It's a good run at the moment. Can we continue it? Let's find out in the next episode. See you later.